No, honey, your hair's not straight. That's the chemical relaxer. <laughs> what do you mean? We don't have enough time. I, there's so much I want to show you. Okay, we can spin our home. Yay! No, come here. Come here to the control room. I found this. It's because of you I was able to do all these things. I remember how to play. I remember when Dad would, would take us outside and Maggie and I, we would just go lay out in front of the clouds and just look and imagine. And I would imagine all these sounds. I mean, come on, you have to listen to this. Hey, isn't it great? Oh, it's too slow, okay. I can, I can speed it up, that's something we can do, don't worry. Is this good enough for you? Okay, you can bop. Yeah, honey, that's me. 
me. I protected you. Okay, okay. For being emotionally fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Peace. 
of fruit. That I have to be quiet, still, and stealthy. stealthy. Because anybody or a man might want to take a bite. The apples and the oranges of the world are not so different, I think. And maybe they're meant to be different. Maybe they are meant to be seen and to be valued. You see, as a woman, I'm always told that I don't have any power. I am told in every single way, shape, and even in the silence. And as a black person, I am told that I have no history, that my people were nothing but savages. So I ask myself, who am I and what is home? As a first generation, and parents that didn't have the book to educate me on what it is to be black in America. And as I try to find my home, not in a place, not in space, but my body. Are you a woman or a man? But what if I'm neither? What if I'm in the gray? I thought that as I got older, I would have more answers because constantly I'm being put in a box. Constantly I'm being told what I can and cannot do, what I can and cannot be, and honestly, I'm tired. Because I just want to exist and be free. I want to move without fear. I want to be beautiful and just be and just glowing, and being able to be in community, being able to share love and share light. And I know that won't be easy. My journey hasn't been. And as I get really scared, sometimes I remember that my people have done really hard things. And times we've had to learn where to fight, and when to run and retreat, when to lend a hand, and when to say no, when you know that that might not be the road for you. But I do know one thing, that I need to be willing to be open, and I need to be willing to love.